Before I begin to create, I drift into a state of mind of what I like to think of as my own miniature Disney animation studio. I travel back in time to my boyhood days when life was simpler, immersing into each Disney story to experience the characters as if it were reality. I will show you how to draw Winnie the Pooh, then demonstrate how shading and color highlights enhance a cartoon picture. My friend Sue, who has a more enchanting voice, will assist in describing character information. Before touching marker to paper, I generally like to float over the area where I will be creating the drawing. Winnie the Pooh is a wonderful Disney cartoon character for beginners, and also, a great character to show how simple color shading can enhance a picture. Did you know this fact about Winnie the Pooh? Winnie the Pooh is not a creation of Walt Disney Studios. This cute character was created by Alan Milne in 1925, in England. Winnie the Pooh stories were published October 14, 1926. Christopher Robin, Alan Milne's real son, named his teddy bear Winnie after seeing a bear at the Winnie Peg Zoo. Disney acquired the rights to Winnie the Pooh in 1961. Obviously, the character took on a distinct Disney look once it was acquired. And in 1966, Disney released the first Winnie the Pooh short, called Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree. It is also interesting to note, that two main characters who later became important icons in the Winnie the Pooh series, Tigger and Piglet, did not appear in the movie Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree. You can find how to draw these two characters in the Disney character playlist, or click on the notification at the top of the screen. Pooh is known for having a big tummy, and little brain. This can be seen especially when it comes to honey. He will go to any extreme to get more if he runs out of it. This is why the particular picture of him searching into the bottom of the honey jar was selected for this video. It portrays his character and intentions so well. One of the most beautiful attributes of Pooh is that he is an optimist. No matter what can, and does go wrong, he looks on the bright side of the situation and makes the best of it. This probably explains why he and his friend Christopher Robbins like to just hang out, and do absolutely nothing. Lucky for Winnie the Pooh is that he is very forgetful, so that if anything does go wrong, he does not recall it very long. It is unfortunate that this was the last short film produced by Walt Disney, who passed away December 15, 1966, 10 months after its release. Winnie the Pooh will always remain a favorite of many who are young at heart. It is what we can consider a classic animated cartoon that will not sit on the shelves of the Disney archives to be forgotten. Whenever one thinks of Disney's most calming and down-to-earth characters, one can't help to the think of Winnie the Pooh and friends. Be sure to look for more of Winnie the Pooh's friends on this channel. Note how both Pooh bears look. The one on the left is colored with solid colors. This looks great and would be fine for cartooning. The image on the right is the same exact picture that is seen on the left, however, color highlights and shading have been added strategically along edges and body parts. With color highlights and shading, the picture shows a little more dimension.